Hi everyone, I am Mr. M. Gomez. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss adding and subtracting dissimilar fractions. So what are dissimilar fractions? These are fractions with different denominators. So let's start. For item number one, one third plus two over seven. As you can see, these two fractions have different denominators. This one is 3 and this one is 7. Therefore, we will use least common denominator or the LCD. How, how can we get the LCD? The first step is to analyze if the higher denominator is divisible by the lower denominator. 7 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, we have to use the second way. Just multiply 3 and 7. So 3 times 7 is equal to 21. So 21 is multiple of 3 and 7. Therefore, this 21 is the least common denominator. So the second step is to divide this LCD to each denominator. So 21 divided by 3, that is 7. Then multiply to the numerator, which is 1. Again, 21 divided by 3, 7, times 1, that is 7. The next, divide 21 to other denominators. So 21 divided by 7, that is 3, times 2, that is equal to 6. Or you can use the other way. Just multiply 1 times 7, that is 7. And 2 times 3, that is equal to 6. Then combine 7 plus 6, that is equal to 13. Over 21. We all know 13 is a prime number. Therefore, this fraction or 13 over 21 is the final answer. In item number 2, 2 over 5 plus 1 fourth. As you can see, they have different denominators, 5 and 4. So therefore, we have to find their LCD. So how to find the LCD? First, analyze if 5 is divisible by 4. So 5 is not divisible by 4, so we need to use the other way. Just multiply their denominators. So 5 times 4, that is equal to 20. And we all know, 20 is multiple of 5 and 4. Therefore, this is the LCD of 5 and 4. Now, proceed to next step. Divide this LCD, which is 20, to each denominator, to 5 and 4. Then multiply to numerators. So let's start. 20 divided by 5, that is equal to 4, times 2, that is equal to 8. Then, 20 divided by 4, that is 5 times 1, that is equal to 5. Or, just multiply 2 times 4, that is equal to 8. 1 times 5, that is equal to 5. Take note, we only use this multiplication, 2 times 4 and 1 times 5, if we multiply the denominator just like this, 5 times 4. Okay? So now, let's combine 8 plus 5, that is equal to 13 over 20. And this is the final answer since 13 is a prime number. So for item number 3, we have 1 over 5 plus 3 over 10. So again, we have different denominators. This one is 5 and this one is 10. Then find the LCD. How to find again the LCD? So let's use the first one. Analyze if 10 is divisible by 5. So yes, 10 is divisible by 5. Therefore, the LCD is the higher denominator, which is 10. So let's use 10 as the LCD. And then, proceed to the next step, which is dividing the LCD to each denominator, then multiply to each numerator. So 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 1, that is 2. 10 divided by 10 is 1 times 3, that is equal to 3. So now, combine 
2 plus 3, that is equal to 5. 5 over 10. And 5 over 10 can simplify. So, let's find, uh, let's find the simplest form of 5 over 10. So, 10 is divisible by 5. So, meaning to say, the, L, the GCF is 5. Divide the numerator and denominator by 5. So, 5 divided by 5, that is equal to 1. Then, 10 divided by 5, that is equal to 2. Therefore, our final answer is 1 half. For item number 4, 2 over 3 minus 1 over 6. So, same process with ad adding the similar fractions. We have to find the least common denominator or the LCD since they have different denominators. So, again, first step, analyze if 6 is divisible by 3. So, 6 is divisible by 3. Therefore, our LCD is the higher denominator, which is 6. So, next step, divide this LCD to each denominator. 6 divided by 3, then multiply to the numerator. 6 divided by 3, again, 6 divided by 3 is 2, times 2, that is equal to 4. Minus 6 divided by 6, that is equal to 1, times 1, that is equal to 1. Then, subtract 4 minus 1, that is equal to 3, over 6. And, of course, as you can see, 3 over 6, we can simplify 3 over 6, since 6 is divisible by 3. Therefore, the GCF is 3. 3 divided by 3, that is equal to 1. 6 divided by 3, that is equal to 2. So, our final answer is 1 half. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from my video. And if you learned, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell na all for you to be updated on my latest uploads. Thank you and goodbye.